<sighs> What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about the state of the LSU basketball program as you have Naj Reed, Skylar Mays, Tremont Waters, Javante Smart, and Emmy Williams all declaring for the NBA draft. Now, Naj Reed, I think, is really, you know, I think that's a foregone conclusion that he should have declared because, you know, he's projected as, like, a late first, early second round pick, and depending on his workouts, he could possibly move himself up in the first round a little bit. So Naj was kind of a guy that I knew, you know, watching him throughout the season, like, oh, yeah, he won and done. <laughs> you know, like, he won and done. He definitely should go get his money. Now, Tremont, you know, he did, he kind of did this last year, and then he put, now what's good is that if a rule, they changed this rule like a year or two ago that if you declare for the draft and you go undrafted, you do have the option you could go back to school. So the rest of these guys, man, are borderline being undrafted. You know, Tremont, Maybe somebody could take a fly on him in the second round, but I didn't see any mock drafts where they have him getting drafted. I didn't see any mock drafts where they had Skylar Mays getting drafted. I didn't see any mock drafts where they had Javante Smart or Emmett Williams getting drafted. Four of these guys are projected to not even get drafted. Now, granted, like I said, if they go undrafted, they, they can return to LSU next year. Unlike in the past, where if you get undrafted, you basically you better go overseas or hope to land a G League contract. You know, they can, they have the option to return to LSU if they go undrafted, which in mock drafts, four of these guys, everybody but Nas Reed are projected to not get drafted. But it's, I think it's even bigger than that, man. You know, me personally, I think they should return because you know, it, you ain't you ain't projected to get drafted. <laughs> so I think you could come back to school, you know, and, and work on your game more and, you know, proceed, man. But I think it's bigger than these guys just declaring for the draft, which we obviously know they're not really ready yet. I think it got more to do so with the state of the program, man. Like, this, if this don't open your eyes to let you know that LSU basketball is in a real heap of trouble, I don't know what else will. The ongoing Wellway situation, man, is a black eye over the over the organ over the um over the program. Because you can't just you you know, you sitting here, the man basically is in limbo. Okay, granted, I feel like it was not smart on his part to get caught on FBI wiretap talking about this type of stuff. You know, unlike the other coaches, you know, the, the Bruce Pearls and all them, they got a middleman. They got somebody else, an assistant coach or somebody else doing this for them to where they the fallout guy. You know, Will Wade didn't have a fallout guy. <laughs> he was his whole fallout guy. So the state of the program, man, is right now we don't know who our coach is. We never fired him. You know, he's still suspended indefinitely. I think he goes to trial, I think, this month or so, or next month or something like that. You know, he going to go in front of a jury or whatever. But I, I guess we're waiting on that to make a final decision on him. But meanwhile, while we're waiting, these players are trying to get out, the, out of this program. These players, they don't want to stick around and not knowing who they're going to be playing for. You know, they don't want to stick around knowing that there's sanctions that might be coming to this university's way. You know, so it's like, yeah, my thing is, I, and I understand what a lot of people are saying, where they should have just let Will Wade continue coaching because the sanctions, if, the, if there's sanctions, sanctions are going to come anyway. <laughs> it don't matter if he, oh, he didn't coach the SEC. He didn't coach against Vanderbilt in the SEC tournament, and he didn't coach in the NCAA tournament, but he coached the majority of the year, so we got to vacate wins. We still going to vacate wins, so people like, we might as well just roll through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We might as well just let Will Wade finish the season and we handle it after, which I completely understand people's part when it comes to that, you know. Now, I agree with Joy Lever and Alexander that Will Wade is wrong, but at the same time, if you're not going to fire the man right then and there, you might as well just let him continue coaching, you know. Um, yeah, man, like if Will Wade eventually gets fired, 
you know, maybe like if he, I mean, if he eventually gets reinstated, you know, maybe the pro, maybe we'll have to deal with our sanctions and stuff like that. But, you know, I feel like we'll still have a solid program. I feel like these players will most likely come back that don't get drafted. And, you know, we'll have another decent basketball season. But if Will Wade gets fired, man, this program is in real danger of really going back all the way to the bottom. Because who do you hire now? You know, anything short of, you know, Oak, the Oklahoma City Thunder having a, have, getting knocked out in the first round by the Portland Trailblazers and Billy Donovan getting fired and us going to pick up Billy Donovan, anything short of that, like, who do we go get as a head coach? All the hot commodity coaches already done decided they fake, done either re-signed with their schools or went on to other schools. So our best hope is that the Thunder go out in the first round and we go get Billy Donovan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if he would want the job anyway. You know, but besides that, man, this program is in a bad state right now, man. Um, you know, these guys declaring, they're not declaring because – you know, they like, oh, yeah, boy. I mean, granted, that's their long-term dream to play professional basketball. And I wish all of them well, man. Even if they don't get drafted and don't come back, you know, I'm not going to sit there and criticize the kids, man. The kids, you know, they believed in themselves. You know, you can't get mad at somebody for believing in themselves. So if they go on and play overseas or wherever, I wish them very well, you know. That doesn't mean they're going to never play in the NBA. They could eventually work their way up and get on a roster somewhere. But I think it, it it don't even have to do with that. I think it has to do with, look, we don't know what's going on with this program. So instead of us just transferring somewhere else, the best thing we could do is just put our names in the NBA draft, you know. And if we don't get drafted, hopefully by after the draft, this whole Will Wade situation going to get resolved to where we know, okay, we got our coach, we're going to go back play. Or, look, we're just going to go play professionally overseas somewhere. You know, it's a real ugly situation right now, man. I hope whatever happens, it happens sooner than later, man. But um, with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU content, man, throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.